They hope to gain their freedom. I'm going to give it to them. War and colonialism are often depicted as heroic. People of privilege believe they are always helping no matter what the evidence shows. We come in seeking to rescue people in need, but as writer and activist Emmy Kiyama has written, rescue is for kittens. In the real world, people don't need heroes. They need systemic solutions to racism, patriarchy, colonialism, and capitalism. For idealistic young people, international volunteering, anti-sex trafficking campaigns, Teach for America are all popular options that seem helpful at first glance. But charitable efforts that proceed without a demand for systemic change strengthen the system by providing an apolitical means of addressing the symptoms and ignoring the source of the problem. An alternate solution to social problems lies in the example of the Zapatistas, who popularized the slogan, Walking, We Ask Questions. In other words, as you take action, listen to the voices of those most affected, and be ready to change course based on their feedback. The phrase, nothing about us without us, which came into modern use during the global disability rights movement of the 1980s, is another important guiding principle for our movements. If you're not following the leadership of the communities affected by your work, there's something wrong. Many miles of wild and hostile country. Our schools teach that change comes from saviors, not mass movements. Students are taught the great man theory of history. In this worldview, President Lincoln ended slavery, while the revolts led by enslaved people are rarely mentioned. Going to this foreign land, foreign land, foreign Benevolent land. capitalists, rather than the struggles of organized labor, are lifted up as responsible for the gains of working people. Martin Luther King Jr. or President Johnson are credited with the gains of the civil rights movement, while the millions of unnamed black people that struggled and fought and died for liberation are never named. As Howard Zinn has said, the power of the people on top depends on the obedience of the people below. When people stop obeying, they have no power. This book is not about calling out people of privilege. As Malcolm X has said, don't be in a hurry to condemn because he doesn't do what you do or think as you think or as fast. There was a time when you didn't know what you know today. I believe as a person of privilege, it's important to speak up against white supremacy, patriarchy, and other systems that uphold the advantages I have. This book is a resource for other people with privilege to challenge these systems and stand together with already existing movements to create a better world. No More Heroes maps a path from the savior mentality to shared liberation.